And new this morning, driving into Central City Park near downtown Macon, you see a lot of trains and tracks and one old steam train that sits in the park. But our Wanye Reese introduces us to one man who wants to make sure the county doesn't forget about this piece of history. That my dad had just made some great, great strides with the uh, North Southern Railway. Vinny A. Scott spent more than 40 years of his life working on the railroad in Bibb County. See, we wanted to shovel coal from this uh, coal box to the, to the uh, steam engine here to keep it going. Chico Scott says his dad retired in 1979 and Macon honored him about five years later with this plaque. I couldn't help but just, just smile and, and gleam because I knew what he, he went through just to get to that punch. Scott says that's a day that he will never forget, but says over time this train started to get rusty and today he feels like county leaders have forgotten about the train his dad worked on. Every time when I do come by here just to drop by to, to check it out to see if any progress was made on it, there hasn't been any progress. Bibb County Recreation Director Robert Walker says three organizations came to town to fix the train, but none were successful. Yeah, of course, we are looking for some people that could possibly restore the train. Um, that is not something that we have explored, meaning Macon Bibb County. Um, but like I said, we have had several people to come to us about actually restoring it in the past. Walker says the county commission would have to give the recreation department money specifically to fix the train. Money that we have in our budget now is for the maintenance of our facilities. Um, and our, uh, our parks, um, nothing for actually restoring the trains. While the county figures out the next step, Scott hopes to see the train the way his late dad remembers it. Some dignity and respect for the person who really loved and cared about this town. A Walker says right now they have not had an organization come forward to get the train cleaned up. Scott says train 509 is really special to his family because that is the last train his dad worked on before he retired. 